In this video, I am going to show you how to pour two different types of molds. In this video, I am going to show you how to pour two different molds. A one-piece mold, known as a slump mold, and a two-piece mold. This is an example of a piece that was poured in a one-piece mold or a slump mold. It is just a simple bowl. This piece here, which is more complex, more detailed, was poured in a two-piece mold. And we are going to pour both of these today. Before we begin, Before we begin, you need a couple things. First, you need your mold that you're going to use. I have this big one that will make the bold, and I have a two-piece mold over here that is going to make the Christmas tree. We also need slip, something to scoop the slip with it so we can pour it into our mold, a rag for cleaning out our mold, and a strap to hold this mold together. So first thing you want to do is just make sure that there is no leftover slip or clay in the mold. So just take a damp towel, clean out the inside of the mold. That looks pretty good. And we are ready to pour the molds. We will pour this big one first. Now that our mold is prepared, we're just going to take a bowl to scoop out the slip and pour it into the mold itself. We'll get some slip here. Start pouring it in. And we're only going to go up to this rim right here. Now that we have this slip poured, we're going to let our mold sit. And we're going to let it sit anywhere between maybe 10 to 30 minutes for the plaster to pull water out of the slip. So the plaster, the mold, which is made of plaster, is going to pull water out of the slip and it's going to create a ridge of clay that's going to form against the plaster. The longer you let the slip sit, the thicker the wall will be of your piece. So we're going to take this, put it off to the side, and we're going to pour our next mold. Here is our next mold, the Christmas tree mold. You see there's two pieces because this is a more complicated piece, more detailed, and it's not something that you can pour in one mold. You need two halves so that it will come out of the mold. First thing you want to do is just put the pieces together. Then you can take a strap and put it on to hold it. Tighten up the strap so it holds the piece together. 
and I like to use a little bit of tape so we're going to tape the other end to make sure that it doesn't come apart it's better to be safe than sorry there we go now we're going to turn it over and this is the side that we are going to pour our slip in and we are only going to pour it up to this edge the bottom edge right here okay so we're going to take our slip again get our bowl and start pouring slip in this can be slightly messy this one doesn't take as much And there we go. Our two molds have been poured. Now the only thing for us to do is wait. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of this off. Then we'll put this aside and let it sit for 10 to 15, maybe 30 minutes depending on the temperature and the humidity in the air. And we'll come back in a little bit and I'll show you how to pull out, pour out the molds. Now that our molds have sat for a while, we're going to pour them out. I'm going to start with the big one piece mold and I'm first going to pour the excess clay back into the bucket. All this slip is reusable. Then I'm going to take it and set it across these bars to let the excess drain off for a couple minutes. Now I am going to place two bars on top of the bucket so that we can drain out our two piece mold. And we're going to let that sit there for a couple minutes also.
Okay, now that our molds have sat for a while and have drained off the excess slip, we're going to just take them and put them someplace safe and let them dry out so that the clay releases from the mold and you can pull out your bowl and pull out your Christmas tree. One last thing I am going to do is clean up the edge of the mold here. Get the excess clay off so that it will release nice and neatly. And as the slip dries, the water is going to come out of the slip and the bowl is going to shrink a little bit and pull away from the plaster. The same thing is going to happen with the Christmas tree that we poured. So now it's just a waiting game and you have to let it dry. And that's all there is to pouring a mold. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll take a look at our piece. Here are the molds that we left sit overnight to dry out some. And now we're going to pop out the pieces from each one. And I'm going to do the large one first. I'm going to support it on the inside with my hand and tilt it. And let it fall out into my hand. I'll slide that out of the way. And here's your bowl. Now I would go back with a sponge you know, or a tool and clean up my edges on here. And so, and that's how easy it is to take out. We'll put that off to the side over here. Now this one, we'll have to undo the strap, take it off, undo the tape. And I am trying to hold it closed still with my hand. Tip it over a little bit so it's laying flat. And I'm going to lift the top part off. And there's our piece. And now I'm stuck to some tape. And then I am going to gently see if I can Up. That's what I was afraid of. I'm going to have to lift it up. And there's our piece. And this part right here, I clean off. You can break some of it off. I'll go back with a tool. And any little seams that you can see, I take a sponge to and clean up the edges so they look nice and neat. But there is the Christmas tree. Uh, so now I'd have to let it dry out after I clean it up and then fire it and then we can glaze it. And that's how simple it is to remove them from the mold. Here is our Christmas tree. I'm going to take a tool and I am going to clean up the bottom edge real quickly. I like to use a ribbon tool. I can scrape the edges down nice and neatly. And it's pretty quick with a ribbon tool. It's up to you on what tool you want to use. There we go, nice and neat. And then 
I would take a sponge or a ribbon tool. You could take a ribbon tool and you can go around the edge and clean up all these little spots like that. You can also go and take a sponge and clean up all the edges too and get them nice and smooth so that you don't see the seam lines. And it's very easy to do. And that's how you clean up the seam lines. You can see you can't even tell now compared to something like this here where you can see it. So that's how simple it is.